Hi everyone, I'm Lullabad. Welcome to my kitchen. I know y'all tired of hearing about my birthday. <laughs> but you know what? It's only once a year, honey. And this is the birthday dinner. So, I wanted to just show y'all what my mama gifted me. This is uh, some casserole dishes. This is a casserole dish that has a lid. It's a one. It's a one point six quart dish. So cute. And then this one here, I don't have this size. It's a thirteen by nine. So yeah, they're both from Libby. I've never used this brand before, but I'm excited. Uh, this is a. She told me she said she was gonna give me something smaller, but she knows that I like to make big meals. <laughs> That's why she got me this. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad, but thank you, Mama. I love you. Thank you. For dinner, I'm going to be making penne, pesto penne pasta kale. I guess it's a salad. It's a side dish. So I got some kale. Kale greens, triple wash, ready to eat. So that's cool. Um, some penne, of course. I made some homemade pesto. I will link the recipe to how I make my, my pesto. And um, it's so good. And uh, yeah, so there's that. It's been refrigerated. That's why it looks like that. I have some thin cut or thin sliced steaks. And then I picked up some um, crab cluster snow um, legs right here. Again, we did splurge. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's a birthday dinner. I only turned 40 once. So I wanted to take a look at them. Oh, these are big ones. Ooh, girl. Ooh, chill. Ooh, chill. Look how big they are. Yes, girl. So we'll get two each. Two each and then an extra leg. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to rinse these. Chop up some garlic. I'm gonna do um, this is one, two, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six cloves of garlic. You ever seen one of these? It's so useful. Let me show you. Just put it in there. You Take the skin off. You basically just get the garlic and you open up this little compartment. Where is it? How do you open it? Right here. And you place it inside of there. You close it. And then you just roll it like this. And there you have chopped minced garlic. You open it up and see? So cool, right? Quick and easy. Way to chop garlic. I found it at Big Lots, but um, you can find it on Amazon. I'll link the storefront to where you can get it. I got some penne. I'm only gonna do like, I don't know. Like a cup. Yeah, I'm gonna do a cup. Of pasta and make sure you salt the water 
And just follow the cooking instructions. So sprinkle your garlic. Some butter. Some butter. We got some parsley. This dry parsley. Some obey. Some Chef Morito's fish seasoning or seafood seasoning. Some slap your mamas. Some onion powder. I'm gonna cover this with foil paper. I'm gonna cook it at 450 for about 15 minutes and check on it. And if it still needs more cooking, I'll do it for another five. Now for the steak, I like to get them out a little early because I do like them at room temperature. I also want to dry them by patting with paper towel. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. So I like to do my steaks very simply, very, very, very simple. You you might be surprised how simple it is, but. I like to taste the meat. So that's why we do it so simply. Here's how I do it. Some salt. I like sea salt. Pepper. I like a lot of pepper. My hands are washed, by the way. And chili powder. Just a sprinkling of chili powder. Do the other side. And that's it. All right. Now I'm going to start prepping the side dish. Get a bowl. Four cups of kale. Um, I know it says it's triple washed, but I'm still going to wash it because I'm putting this in my body. I'm going to make sure it's clean. So let me go wash this real quick. So there's a kale. I got half a cup of pesto in here. Into the naked kale. Now all the people that don't like for me to use my hands, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, just go ahead and skip the video or push fast forward. My hands are clean. I promise you I'll wash my hands. What you're going to do is massage the pesto into the kale. Now, if you know, if you eat kale raw, then you know that if you massage a little olive oil into it, it kind of gets tender. This pesto has a lot of olive oil in it. And so um, it's going to do the same thing that just regular olive oil would do. So start massaging. It starts to wilt down after you keep working with it. It'll start wilting. So there you go. There's the kale with pesto. Now toss in the pot, the warm pasta. That's gonna that's going to make the, the kale get more tender because it's, it's warm. Stir this up. Now, if you want to add more pesto and you feel like it needs more pesto, then you know what I'm going to say. Add more pesto. So I'm going to add, um, I'm going to say like a quarter cup.
stir that into the warm pasta, the wilted kale. Okay, now taste it. If you need pepper, um, you can even toss it with some freshly grated parm if you want. Um, instead of salt, use Parmesan. But I doubt it because I know this pesto is good. But I will taste it. Mmm. So good. Mmm. 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 All right. There you go. Pesto penne pasta kale salad. It's so good. I don't know how healthy it is. I'm sure you can make it more healthy by using whole wheat pasta or even vegan pasta. If they're such, I'm sure there's such a thing. But there you go. All right. Um, you can leave it out at room temperature or you can put it in the fridge. I'm going to leave it out room temperature. And let's get started on the meat. Raul just walked in and I'm going to put this in, but... He just brought me these flowers. Okay, so here's a story. Let me tell you the story. Every year, every year since I've been with him, he has always bought me a balloon, which he got, and flowers and candy. He always, every year, and like the past three years, I, I was like, like annoyed with it because I'm like, don't bring me because I just flowers and balloon. I just feel like it's a waste, you know, flowers and, you know, the balloon just hangs there. Like, it's just a waste of money. But for some reason, he did it anyway. He did it anyway. He does it every year. He does it anyway. And he did it this year and it just made me cry. <laughs> it's like our tradition. And I'll never want you to stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so sweet. Like you're making me cry and ruin this really pretty makeup. Aww, it looks a pity. Thank you. I love you so much. Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a cup. This is not even a vase, but I don't care. It's so pretty. They're so pretty. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. You're so pretty, baby. I love you so much. Alright, y'all know how to cook steak, right? <laughs> Y'all know, right? So I'm going to just do a little bit of oil. I can smell the seafood cooking. Room temp. Since these are thinly cut ribeyes, uh, you only cook them about a minute on each side just to get a good sear. We prefer our meat this thin. It's, it's just so good. Like butter. This dinner was fabulous. This birthday was amazing. Hitting 40 and having all the support and love and friendships that I have in my life. If you commented um, and wished me a happy birthday or you even thought it in your head <laughs> and you didn't get to comment that, thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for existing in my world. Thank you for the love. I am so blessed. I know that I'm blessed. Thank you, God for giving me the people um, that you sent my way. Thank you.